So we're going to work on getting this intake off first while the coolant is draining. So with a flathead. Get this off. Take tube off. So shut down. Shut down and work on it. This air box is going to have to come out too. See how effective this cardboard box is, right? This simple, get this evap, push down, pull out, one that I'm all, I'll leave as much stuff as I can on, pull this out, pull up, this will slide out. Take off the bracket here. It's gonna be like a 10 millimeter. I'm gonna take out this air box, which is a 10. So Take off the 10 millimeter, it's 3 10 millimeter, what would look like 3. I think I'm wrong, it's a bypass, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be 310. So we got. It worked. Nope. Oh. It's off, but there's another bracket back here for the bypass, obviously. I'm gonna try to put those back. There we go. Try to slide that off. Um, try to leave these wires hooked up. Oh shit. Break the shit already, man. I don't wanna. Squeeze those tabs. I'm gonna leave that right there. <sighs> so that's loose. Map sensor here. Leave that on. Just take off the connector. I don't think it's gonna impede me pulling this upper intake off. I think I can intend to take this EGR off. I do believe I can just take the EGR tube from the bottom down here. 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter. I'm gonna take this off in one piece. Man. Take the gasket, put that back in there. So that's that. Am I ready to take that off? Pull this breather off. I do believe I can pull the upper intake off now. It's gonna be a... No, I'm not gonna pull that 
bolt for the alternator off. That's going to be a look like a 13. About a half inch. We're going to pull this. Make sure these bolts out for the upper intake. God darn it. Leave a trail here. Bam, bam. Until I was unable to put these back some type of order. I'll worry about the tightening sequence when I get this done. Doesn't matter. Head gasket. So, pull the hose off. Here. I'll worry about that later. I'm not gonna worry about where they go because they didn't want it from the spot. Got this tube, this heater hose, under the intake, under the throttle body, sorry. Put the intake down. I hope I gave the rest of it on there. Take the alternator bolt. Should be a 15. Oops. Making a mess, man. Do some nuts. Bracket here and get the other oh, get this bracket right here off. Put that together. And I can get the thir oh, the 13 or half bit. The lower intake. Is that it? Nope, we got that one over there on the side. So this bracket is going to have to go somewhere. I think I can Oh, 
Oh, good, it did. Okay. So, yeah, we're. Don't worry about no. Took a lot of lead, man. That's why I hate it. I'm trying to get some gloves on. Russian. Oh, no. Alright, let's get this. I guess I'm going to have to take some stuff off. I don't want to take this, this plastic bypass down there. I'm going to take it off at the metal. For the sake of memory, I'm gonna just go back over what I took off when I get back on camera. But uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull the uh, coils off, and I should be able to extract this this uh, bypass hose here, this tube, and uh, the coolant tube. Work on getting some other stuff off. Go and get the ignition components off, uh, and I uh, guess we'll work on getting all uh, the alternator off. <sighs> yeah, so everything currently is going smooth. Nothing's broken. coil wires off from the coil tower here and uh, so this is uh, where we at? well I'm gonna leave I'm gonna separate I'm gonna leave the front bank on no 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 I'm gonna take the front bank off there you go so they already numbered for uh, this right here I'm ranking them you coming out there? And um, honestly, probably should have went another route, but. Okay. I'm let the coal rest in the back. Plan with the wires, initial wires in the back. 
and I guess I'm gonna let it take the harness with it. So put the one on over here. here uh, so I can flip this around move that right over there and we're gonna take the alternator off then we should have enough room to let the coil rest where we need to where we need to so we can manipulate it and get the more bolts alternator wise we're using the 15 ratchet wrench to loosen up the bolt in the back of all 15 all 15s and I'm gonna take this loosen up this tensioner uh, I'm gonna use this three eighths ah uh, nope I'm gonna use a let me see what I can use okay. hmm the mount out and uh, now I can jack the motor up just a little bit not careful not to break the mounts get this if I have a little more room which I don't let's see if I can get something else down there uh, go back to the second option try this nope let's go back to the third option This. this is going to work. So what I normally do in tight spaces, I got a little stub uh, jokers here from Harbor Freight. They work very well in tight places. I can get the tent. I can uh, slide this into the, the three eighths um, square side in for the, for the tensioner, where I can't normally get some of the other tools, and I can use a ratchet wrench. Now I got plenty of angle so I can pull the tensioner, and I'll just leave it in there until I get finished and pull it back out. This is what I normally do with tight spaces. So I mean, traditionally, well, I guess in, in other means you're going to have to take the motor mount out. Oh, damn it. Uh. I'll have it in there. I can get my wrench down in there. And, uh, Turn it where I need to to loosen up the tensioner so I can get plenty of angle on it. Get more leverage if I need to by getting a larger wrench on there and double them up so you get the idea. I really think this is a 14 I probably call for, but we're going to find out. There it goes. Got my tensioner loose. Shit over there. Like this is now. So I'm gonna leave that in there. I'm gonna leave my belt there. Remove the alternator and the bracket. Uh, so I do have to remove the tensioner. Let's go ahead and get these rest of these out on the back.
this. So I could have got that last. I thought one of them had a groove to where you can just slide in and out. Oh yeah, this is working. I reckon. No, I didn't take off the battery, so... That's the thing I didn't do. It's the oxygen sensor there. <laughs> Bust my ass, golly. take off the I'm not gonna take off the injectors my luck if I touch those injectors they're gonna leak. So I'm gonna leave those injectors in there.
I know in the older ones that was a challenging spot. That corner I was just at. Same for the older ones though. Oh, look like I might have to take the fuel rail out. I can't get the place I need. Get this. Yeah, I gotta take the fuel rail out. Damn it. One, two. Take these out. I know I'm gonna put the seals in them. I would say from experience, you know, clay speed. Gaskets came with some injector seals. Just my luck, though. I didn't. I got the wrong pick anyway. Trying to get this off. Waste of time. Getting it was a coolant sensor, temperature sensor. Um, I'm gonna call and see if my place got some injector O rings because these are flat and I can guarantee you the odds are very high of having an intake leak or, or like a possibly lean codes or faint misfires if you don't change them. And I'm just giving my own antidote. Save me twice. It's a bad bend right there, man. The other side was bad. I'm pretty sure GM has a special tool to hit that curve right there.
Damn it, boy. So how am I getting to this other one down here comfortably? I use a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench and it's working out perfectly fine. So that's what I'm using to get to that. I have to use a 10 swivel on that side and then on this corner I'm using this 10 ratchet. So I finally got the end bolts out. Let's zap these out. I'm going to leave the thermostat in there. Take the thermostat housing out together with the outlet. Damn it. You see everything's falling all the way through, right? So I'm going from out in. The valve cover is I'm just doing this before. No particular sequence right now. <clears throat> Clean all these bolts off thoroughly. And I'm going to take the front valve cover off. And I uh, should be able to remove it. Then I'll get the back one. Take the bolts off the front and the back closest to me. <clears throat> should be easy for me, right? Where's that loose sound? It's that hollow. All I gotta do is clean everything and put all new seals on what's getting replaced and reinstall it. Let's see how this look on the inside now. I gotta buy some more gloves anyway. Yo, there we go. Yes. <clears throat> and, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta, gotta get this bracket off for the alternator to get the uh, back one off. Tensioner bolt, one, two, three, fifteen, and one in the back here. Oh, I put this in there. It goes my monetization on it. Uh, last one. What are you doing? What are 
Okay, we're doing a little change anyway. So this one you have to take the valves out. Uh oh. Oh, well, I remember these. The exhaust system is long. The intake is short. The intake runners are short. So long exhaust, short rim intake. So I can mix them all up, do what I want. I'm gonna while I got them out, I'll clean the uh, um, the ports that where the oil goes through. I'm gonna clean those oil passages. People are 
People can say what they want about them, like you can't mix them up. I mix them up, never had any problems. Engine ran perfectly fine after the fact. So I'm gonna eliminate that theory at my expense. So people can be like, oh, you can't put that there back like it's a, you have to put it back. You have to put the coils and the wires back exactly like they were. All right, All right so you can see these gaskets. Let's see how jacked up those gaskets are. Um. Oh wow, that's that's pretty blocked off anyway, if I recall properly, right? I guess not. Let's take a look at it. So we got that one. It's blocked all off. You boy. Yeah. Yeah, this is, these are our gaskets. This is the result. So that's what's leaking on the side. I'm surprised it didn't mix with the oil, like the old ones. Quality stand here. And we'll make it. All right. Uh, what, this is the ten. Oh, I'm just gonna loosen those jokers up. And, uh, oh, that's an eight. Sorry. What am I thinking about? Break them loose. Take a sequence. Can't begin to tell you how much I missed because uh, my memory ran out. So um, it was in the midst of pulling these out. Nothing special happened between then. It was eight millimeter to get the rocker arms loose and um, pull the valves out. Uh, separate them. I remember they're long. The exhaust system is longer runner wise. The intake is short runner intake. So long exhaust. The um, Push rods are going to be long for the exhaust and short for the intake. The intakes are they pretty much with the pressure relieving. The intakes are going to be uh, here, so you can look at the intake portion of it through here. So the ports are going to be intake. You can simply just line them up with the corresponding. You hear the pressure just relieving. Um, sorry, but um, you'll line up the intake port here. Is the uh, lifter? I'm sorry, the uh, valve, valve spring, rocker arm, push rod. Same here. You can see the intake, uh, the uh, rocker, and short runner. So everything is uh. Depressurizing. All right. Um. Other than that, uh, took everything off, cleaned it, got the new gaskets installed. The torque specification for these rocker arms are going to be 24 foot pounds. Yes, they are mixed up. I'm not one of them guys that have to be all specific. It doesn't matter. Um, I got all my valves mixed up as far as intake. They all go into the corresponding. Um, the designated area as far as length but as far as its specific area no I'm not one of those guys and I'll prove that they'll work perfectly fine never had any issues mixing them up so you know not that kind of guy here so um got my torque wrench uh, wanna set it at 24 
depending on what stroke it is, it may be a little, it take a little longer to torque down. Just like, uh, cause it's gonna push down on the lifter there. But everything's gonna be all right. And I'll admit, even with like some of the older cars I was working on when I even admit it, but uh, not even torquing, I just snugged them down the best way I could. I never had any problems. I regret that now. That was several years ago. Several years in my beginning phases. Alright, make mistakes though, alright. Got a problem. And it's stripped out. Never had that happen before. I heard about them, but this I'll be. That's what I was hearing crackling. They were just joking, releasing. Side, so do a designated area. Fortunately, there's my three. It's damn it. Well, I gotta do some repairing. strong point tapping but uh got the right pitch and found a bolt. I'm gonna tap this out and get this new bolt ran in there. It's definitely thicker. So I can uh carry on and finish this tonight. So I got another job tomorrow I have to devote my entire day to. I'll make sure they're straight, start the threads and get this thicker bolt installed. Sound just like your husband. Well, you know what? You're half crazy just like everybody else. See you later.
<laughs> Look, says the person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Cameron. Yeah. I totally agree.